Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope all's been well. Today we're going to finish up the underbelly armor for the truck. Um, so we're going to be doing a transmission skid as well as the transfer skid at the same time. I wanted to save these two together because you have to partially take off the transmission skid to install this. So yeah, from here we're just going to go ahead and partially install this, install the cross member, and then install the transfer case skid. Wow, that was a lot to say in one sentence. So first things first, from the goodie bag, you're going to take these little slide brackets. I'm not sure what they're called, but these right here. So you're going to take these slide on nuts, brackets, whatever they're called. Slide them on. Try not to go past the circle because if you do, it's going to suck trying to take them back off. So just line up the nuts to the hole. Do the same for all of them. Cool, so once you have these on, the holes lined up perfectly. It's time to go into the rig. And then you're gonna remove these cross braces. So this right here and the same one on the other side. If you have the cat shields like I do, all you're gonna do is just take these off and then put the screws back in and then you should be smooth. So once you've taken off these cross members, uh, you can, if you're running these Cali raised cat shields, you can just go ahead and reinstall the security bolts. They go all the way in, and yeah. So after you've taken off these cross members, normally what you do is go under, push this in, and put these two bolts, the two carriage bolts that come in here. But we're gonna do these two at the same time, so what we're gonna do is install these four bolts here first, let it hang, install that partially, and then meld it all together. What we're going to do now is take this under the car and install the bolts, let it hang, and then we'll install this cross member, and then get that on. So you're going to want to install these four bolts right here, leave them loose for adjustment. We're going to go ahead and install the cross member for the transfer case skid and then they're going to meld together here right up in here. So a little bit of prep work before you start working on putting that transfer case skid on. You're going to have to remove this 12 right here and there's two little plastic pieces right here. You're going to have to just take those off. She's a screwdriver, flathead, and then peel these off. Just take these off. Boop. And they should just slide right off. So this next part's going to be kind of hard to show. All you're going to do is lift up that cross member and then replace the 12 mil bolt in there. That's gonna keep it from falling. It's just gonna hold it up there. Just don't tighten it down all the way yet because you still need to adjust later. Uh, this would be a good time to hit up your homies, see if they wanna help you. You're just gonna pull this brake line forward. Slide this up. Very nice. So she just holds up. up. Let me show you guys. She's just gonna go in there, replace that bolt in, 
it'll hold up the whole cross member. From here, you're just gonna take your 9 16th bolt, push this up, get it all lined up, and then push the bolt through, fill up with a washer. So you see here, you just pushed up this cross member and then fed a bolt through the frame and then added a washer nut. So it's bolt, washer, washer, nut. And yeah, from here you can just tighten everything down. You're gonna push this up. Ooh, that is tough to do by yourself without a lift, but it's on there now. So you can go ahead and push this side up and then get that 12 in there real nice and snug. Nice. Ooh. Just gonna take our transfer case skid. Up and over, and from here, line up all the holes. Make sure not to drop it on your face. Take a carriage bolt, throw that through. Take a washer, throw that on top. Take a bolt, and bolt it in. So we're just going to take these three carriage bolts, leave them loose for adjustment, and then we're going to go ahead and connect this. Then after that, you should be able to just tighten this down and good to go. So from here, it's going to be kind of hard to shoe, but what you're going to do is place one of these backing plates on top of this cross member and then feed a bolt through and then combined with another nut. Uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of hard to explain. Okay. It's pretty tight. Pretty tight to get into. Not gonna lie. Carriage ball through. Sandwich the transfer case skid, and then on top there's a backing plate with the washer and a nut. From here, you can go ahead and tighten these two front ones down, and then follow up and tighten these rear ones down. The space is pretty limited. Hopefully, good luck. So once you tighten down these and then the two middle ones, you can go ahead and tighten down those four ones you left loose up in the front and you should be done. Just make sure you tighten everything down. So now you got your whole skid plate on. Wow, nice, cool. So it does drop your clearance by maybe half an inch, but I would rather be hitting this plate and then have to just spray paint it back than whatever's underneath it. <laughs> so that was the install, 30 to 45 minutes. Did not take too long. This is one of those instances where having a friend at a lift would probably benefit you. So if you can do it on a lift and have a friend, <laughs> but small enough to just get under there and do it myself and yeah i guess the little guy wins this time <laughs> if you guys found the video informative if you guys liked it make sure to hit that like button it's always helpful if you guys want to see more of this stuff more installs more cooking videos more trail videos 
which are coming up soon. Make sure to hit that subscription button. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, make sure to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good one. Peace.